Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for being back to the channel. Very happy to have you back here. And today we're gonna to talk about the last side of the exposition triangle or exposure triangle. And yes, that's the last video I'm doing on it and I still don't know the proper name for it. Anyway, if you don't know what's going on, what am I talking about? Uh, I've started this small series of camera basics. This is the third video. The first video talked about the shutter speed and the second video talked about the aperture. And you should really watch those before you come back to this there. One of the two sides here. Don't know which one of them. So go watch them and then come back to me. I'm not gonna stop today like I did the other time. Straight into it. So today we're talking ISO. Okay, what is ISO? ISO basically is how sensitive is the sensor of your camera to the light. Basically a lower number such as 50 or 100 will represent a very non-sensitive when a number such as 1600, 3200, 6400 will say that the sensor is very sensitive to the light. So far so good? Hope so. Let's say you're photographing at a slightly dark place or let's say the day is kind of clammy and it's not very sunny or you're shooting at night. You don't have any additional lights. You already have your aperture wide open and you already have your shutter speed as slow as you can possibly set without having any camera shake or motion blur. But your picture is still too dark. So what you're gonna do? Well, this is the time that you're gonna have to start using the ISO. Differently from the shutter speed and the aperture that every change has had an effect and a side effect. The ISO will have two effects. So you're gonna make the image brighter. But at the same time, the higher your ISO goes, the more digital noise you'll be adding to the photo. So yes, cameras and softwares are getting better. Uh, it depends on how, how high you go. Uh, when you open the images on your laptop, the result's still gonna be brutal. And even after you're reducing the, the noise digitally on your software, it's still not gonna be as sharp as if it was shot without all the, all the digital noise. So what do we do? Well, the easiest way is to put your camera on a tripod and shoot it and shoot it as a long exposure. So that this will allow the camera to capture the, the light for longer and you won't need to put the ISO too high. Learn the limitation of your equipment and work with it. The more you understand what's the limit that your equipment can give you, the better results you will be able to get from it. And hopefully you will make enough money out of it to then upgrade to something better. Fine, now you understand the three sides of the triangle. So, so it's time for you to combine the three settings and start taking pictures. One thing that will help you out to control the exposure on your camera is your photometer. Don't know what the photometer is? Good, I didn't know in the beginning. That's this thing here. What is the photometer is telling you? It tells you how your camera understands that the scene is exposed. If your photometer is dead center, it means your camera reads that the exposure is well balanced. If it isn't the negative numbers, it means your camera understands it needs more light. And if it is in the positive numbers, well, I, I think you can guess that it's saying it's overexposed. Now, this is how I use my photometer. Since I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be bringing those pictures into Lightroom and editing them. I like to shoot them in minus one. I find the shooting a little bit darker is easier for me to edit, but this is just some personal taste. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is the end of the camera basics uh, triangle of exposure. And I hope these three videos combined will help you to create better photos, better help you to understand what your camera is doing and how it works and what is behind every single click that you take. If you have any doubt about either shutter speed or aperture or ISO, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if this video helped you, leave me a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so you get notified from when, you, when I post new videos and just go take pictures. Go, why are you still here? Have you subscribed? Did you? You pressed the thing there. You pressed the, you pressed the bell. Ah, uh, I'm watching you. I know you haven't pressed yet. Thank you for sticking with me. See you next week. Bye.